So in this demo, we are going to now plug in a brand new access point and bring it up on our wireless controller. And you've already seen that I've already configured it to support one access point on port 13. And now we're going to bring up the second one. So I've plugged it into port 13. The lights are flashing, which means it's got power. So just configure T and then into the interface. 0-15. I always like to give it a meaningful description. And this access point has external antennas, so I've called it 3500E. My other access point has internal antennas, so I've got two different models. And we want to do switch port access and this time we're going to put it on VLAN 6. And then we want to just define this port as mode access. Now normally you would execute a no shutdown command, but I have actually already executed no shutdown on all of my ports in the lab. And again, it's just to save myself time. Normal operations, you would have all of these ports shut down that you're not in use. Let's take a look at our configuration. Now, one of the things I have to do next is to go here and execute this command here to add VLAN 6. And here you can now see that I have configured port 15. So let's now go and configure port 1. And this time I want to do switch port trunk allowed VLANs and I want to do 5, 6 and 60. So I just want to save this. Always want to have a quick look at my configuration. You never know. And here's my interface here. That's wonderful. Now there's one other thing that I need to do. And I need to make sure that it's set up to acquire an IP address. So I need to set up my pool. So let's go ahead and do that. So we call it a DHCP pool my pool 6. So then we want to set up the network. 10.6.6.0255. Put 255, put my network mask in. My domain name, lab.com. DNS server is the IP address of my server 2003, 60.4. And then I want to put in my default router. We make that 10.6.6.1. So default router of 10.6.6.1, enter the mask. And then we have to do option 43. <laughs> so if you want to know what this is, so what it does is it defines the length and the type at the beginning. And then I put the IP address of the management interface. So in this case, that's 0A05-0502. And then I put the IP address of the AP manager interface. And again, I'm putting it in in hex. So that's 0A050503. Hopefully I've got that right. And then I'm going to put in option 
60 which is for this access point is a 3500 so is AP C3500 and I looked that up in the getting started guide at Cisco I can exit that and then I need to exclude some IP addresses so I want to exclude DHCP exclude addresses and I exclude the first hundred in this example so we just go from 10.6.6.6.100 and so that means when the access point connects and any clients that connect to the access point it will select an IP address between 101 and 254 okay so let's take a look at how that's configured it so you can see here's my excluded address range and here is my pool. Now it should be looking just like the one above so let's make sure I didn't forget anything. All looks good. Let's see if my access point has acquired an IP address. I know what I forgot. I forgot to set up the interface VLAN. So see here where I've got interface VLAN 5? I need to set that one up. So I'm going into the interface VLAN 6. give it a description and then I need to give it an IP address okay so now I want to take a look at see if it's got an IP address so IP DHCP and bindings there we go so now we can see that my access point has indeed acquired an IP address. So we have now successfully configured the switch. Now we need to go and configure the access controller. So now we're back on my server 2003. So what we want to do is we're in the controller. Oh, wants me to reconnect and what we want to do is we want to set up a new interface so I come over here and select new give this a name and it's VLAN 6 we're going to set up give it a VLAN ID here so I set apply there we go give it a port number of one and remember I have one trunk and that's carrying my static management interfaces and it's carrying my dynamic interfaces and this is going to be VLAN number six put in the IP address of the interface on the wireless LAN controller so we give it 10.6.6.2 sub network mask 255 255 255-0 and my gateway we make that 10.6 6.3 my DHCP server of course is my Windows Server 2003 so that's 1.192 168 60.4 click apply And now you can see I have successfully set up my VLAN. Now let's take a look and see if we found our access point. Here it is. And that didn't take too long this second time. <laughs> so now you can see I've got my original 3500 and I've now got my second 3500 configured. So my access point is now registered on my wireless LAN controller.